What are you guys doing? Hey, buddy. Yo, Snapchat. So the Dow has just become the largest crowdfunding campaign in human history. Um, they're currently at 120 million US dollars. Um, and they're not just any crowdfunding campaign, they're gonna change the world. So the DAO is the world's first decentralized autonomous organization, uh, and what they're doing is they're allowing people to buy DAO tokens, which gives them kind of like a stake and a say in how that company is run and what they fund. But because this company is running on a blockchain, it essentially has no leaders, no, no structure at all. It's, it's, it lives in the cloud, and it's autonomous, and it runs itself based on human input. That 120 million US dollars is, is real, it's legit, but it's sitting in a blockchain, it's not sitting in a bank account, and there are no, there's no board of directors, there's no CEO, there's none of that crap, it's, it's run by code. And so while they're not allowed to call the, um, the process like shares and equities, the, the DAO token holders, holders are essentially like shareholders. They have the ability to vote on new proposals and they get kickbacks and dividends. So one of the first proposals that uh, this company, this decentralized company is going to build and all the DAO token holders are going to manage uh, and through contractors and stuff is called Slocket. And it's a decentralized backbone for the sharing economy. And so Slocket is this perfect example of what I think Ethereum should be used for, by basically like decentralizing the entire industries and their entire backends that anyone can plug into. Um, so other people can use this backend system. So some of the use cases that could be built on top of Socket are things like um, a decentralized Airbnb, where there's no Airbnb in the middle because you just have a lock on your door that anyone can unlock and kind of like you can rent it out yourself. Or if you want to rent out your bike, you could just put a smart lock on your bike and then anyone nearby could rent that bike and return it. Um, and it's very safe, very secure, but there's no middleman company at all. It's, it's a pure peer-to-peer -peer sharing economy. Or even car sharing. I saw in uh, Australia's version of Shark Tank, uh, one of the guys invested in this thing called Car Next Door, which they put a giant lock box on the side, but they're in the middle. Well, this can get rid of the middleman. The thing I love about this is it's such a new concept that um, when you see it in new uh, news articles, the metaphors change every time. So the metaphors have gone from like, it's a crowdfunding thing to like a Kickstarter, to like a VC. And that's a cool thing, it's actually all of these. So it's kind of like a, um, it's, it's a, a decentralized company with no leadership structure and the code uh, for the, the conduct and the government is all written into the code. And it's like a crypto equity platform, a, bit, a little bit like Kickstarter where people can crowdfund proposals. And it's also like a VC fund because now they have like $120 million plus in assets to spend. Okay, but the cool thing is, this is only the first DAO. There's going to be thousands, tens of thousands of these, and they are going to basically control the world at some point within five to ten years. Let me explain why. So throughout human history, the reason we've had centralized structures is purely based around trust, power, and kind of protection. So you think of like, you know, kings and queens and mayors and companies and governments. I mean, this was really the genesis of Bitcoin because um, banks kind of sit in the middle purely because you know, people can't trust each other to say that they have the amount of money they're paying. Um, so the banks are kind of the trust at all. So the throughout human history, it wasn't until blockchain technology and Bitcoin that we were able to get to that point where I can transfer you one Bitcoin and you know that you're going to get one Bitcoin in return and we don't need a trusted middleman because of code. And so the same trust applies to corporate governance and corporate structures. I mean, uh, if people put $120 million into this thing. How do they know that they're actually going to get a return and that money's going to go somewhere? If you invest in Apple, Apple's a registered company with the US government and they're on the stock exchange and they've got shares and they've got a board of directors and executive team and like hierarchies and stuff. Um, and so you kind of know it's going to go somewhere. But I think we're going to see the end of these big behemoth companies. I mean, you've got like Apple and Google and, and stuff like that. They're, they're struggling to hit a, a, a trillion dollar market cap. So there is some definite like limit to centralization. Whereas you look at something like Slocket, and Slocket has the power to disrupt, displace, and basically coordinate autonomously, globally, the entire sharing economy. So absorb Uber, Airbnb, everything. And what this means is that, is that Slock is kind of like a decentralized backbone for the entire sharing economy. So it could, be, it could become a multi-trillion dollar platform that autonomously manages the entire sharing economy globally. So then what if you apply that exact same kind of concept to the, every other industry on, on the planet? So imagine there's like, say, 20 different major industries and they just run autonomously by 20 different smart contracts. The insurance industry globally, that must be worth multi-trillions of dollars. That is probably the lowest hanging fruit because essentially it's just a, a middleman that does really nothing but provide trust. You don't need it. Make a smart contract. So people are worried about technological automation now. Um, something like an escrow DAO or an insurance DAO in a couple of hundred lines of code, it can replace every single company, every single insurance company in the world. The other thing too is that DAOs don't have to be limited just to corporate structures. They can actually be applied to entire governments, like whole countries. I mean, there's groups already now working on global governance with no rulers, no politicians. And so you extrapolate this out now, an entire planet within about 10 years could be run entirely by autonomous organizations on the blockchain that can never ever be shut down. Essentially the entire planet and human species being run by AI. I think a proposal I might put forward to the DAO is this idea of like a freelancer decentralized backend where people are just recommended jobs based on their tasks, like a jobs RPG platform that develops a peer-to-peer -peer economy. Yeah. 
Because even a DAO like that has the potential to just disrupt multiple industries. Like it gets rid of all employment, <laughs> all companies, all jobs, all nine to five jobs, all recruitment, just everything and packages it. So if you need to hire someone or you have a problem to solve or you need something done, um, you just basically let the DAO know and the DAO finds the exact person or the group of people dynamically falls into a team to get that task done and pays them. So anyway, tons of cool thoughts. I'll probably talk a lot more about DAO and uh, decentralized autonomous organizations. Stuff your thoughts at Future. Have a good day, guys. See ya.